Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Platinum God, Wrath of the Lamb Edition. It just feels good to say that. We're gonna play a little as Cain today. So, despite what you might think, there is still some stuff left to do in The Binding of Isaac. I looked at my achievement list today, and despite having achieved apparently 100% of the game, something I'd like to point out that I also achieved in Super Meat Boy, so it feels good, like two of these fairly difficult games, it might have taken me a uh, hundred years each, but eventually reached Golden or Platinum God in both of them. Um, not to do my own horn or anything, I'm just saying. But, uh, I am missing two achievements. One of them is the achievement for getting Platinum God, so I think I just need to, like, restart Steam or have achievements not be glitched for that one to show up. But the other one is unbeknownst to me, although I have received some hot tips on Twitter telling me that it might be, uh, for blowing up 30 Tinted Rocks. Not in one run, because obviously that would be insanity. Uh, but 30 Tinted Rocks, like, over your entire lifespan. And a lot of you people are saying, that's crazy! 30 tinted rocks, uh, clearly you've done that. If you average like one every seven videos, you would have it easily by now. This must be, yeah, it's an XL floor, that's what I was thinking. Because we had to use a key to get into the treasure room, but in fact, this, uh, achievement only got added in 1.48, so it's entirely possible, I think, that I have not added, uh, or have not blown up 30 tinted rocks since 1.48 came out, so, that could actually... Be the one achievement we're missing, and then we'll truly have 100%, so we did get- Oh, come on. You will pay for your insolence. We did get, uh, shears as well as the bomb bag right off the bat here, and those are two very, very good items. I mean, as Kane, what are we looking for? Pills? Pretty much. Uh, I guess we want to increase our damage, because we're firing a little bit less often. But we're only firing out of one eye. That doesn't necessarily mean less often. Our rate of fire looks okay. One of these days... I will look at the the actual attributes of these characters. I promise you. I actually I don't promise you. That's probably never gonna happen. I'm not gonna lie to your face right here. Or lie to your ears anyway. I don't know. Maybe I'm lying to some of your faces if you got some weird hidden cameras set up. Always wary about having my webcam on. You never know who could just be you know, spying on you. Watching you play Isaac in your underwear. So, we are going to kill Pin and then we will save our shears. And we will use our saved scissors against whoever we fight next, who is probably going to be more difficult than Pin, just by like default, basically, because Pin is probably the easiest boss we could possibly fight right now. The only thing that would make Pin better is if there was like a blue version of Pin that dropped Spirit Hearts when it died, or like a greed version of Pin that dropped the money when it died, or keys or bombs. I mean, we're on the first floor, so we could really use pretty much anything we could get our hands on. Almost done here. There we go. And we get uh, an HP upgrade. That I always thought did tears upgrade as well, but maybe not. And the pony! Substantially more difficult than um, who we were fighting a second ago, who I've already forgotten because they were so inconsequential. No, we were fighting uh, Pin a second ago, but Shears should be able to uh, take this guy out very quickly. I'm doing a little bit, a non insignificant amount of damage myself. But, mostly it is our 5th level Meat Boy just going to town. We don't really want the pony, I mean it could be good. Instead I think we'll take Brimstone, and then I think we will take the pony after that. <laughs> My thinking being, um, sure, Shears is a great item, but Pony Brimstone is going to help me not to get hit a lot. Which is going to be very important as we move forward with only one heart, because anything could absolutely happen. I hate getting Brimstone early, but I also love getting Brimstone early. It's a double-edged sword. Cause, I mean, when you get it early, it's great because you can abuse your, your damage and your range advantage throughout the entire level. However, or throughout the entire game, I should say. However, you do also run the risk. What is that? Kane's Eye? I've totally forgotten what this does. I knew at one point. Um, but when you get it early, you also have to play this, like, you're playing with fire for a few floors when you only have a little bit of health. I'm glad we did more exploring, though. I mean, Shears is a great item, I can't deny that, but I have to give myself a little bit extra leeway. Because there's a chance, like, I could just get hit by a bomb or something and that would end my run right away. So I would rather have Pony, which allows me to get away from things that might be exceptionally difficult for me. In the meantime, we're just going to pick our shots here. Try to avoid splitting these things up too much. And instead, taking them out as they come. Again, it's a luxury afforded to us by the power of Brimstone. And of course, now there's like so many different items that would give us amazing combinations. If we got Brimstone Polyphemus, Brimstone Technology 2, these are all things that would pretty much guarantee us victory as long as we could get some decent health. 
Moreover, it just feels good to have a run where you're not handcuffed by, uh, you know, what potential items you have or can have. As opposed to those Guppy's hairball runs where I was, like, re-rolling almost every single item I came across. Okay, so I'm watching out for the, the champion here, because anything can happen. But I'm also thinking, you know, with three keys, I might be able to go to the shop on this floor. I mean, I, I've got enough bombs, probably, especially with the bomb bag, to maybe look for the secret room. We'll stick with Kane's eye instead of the fish head. I don't really know what Kane's eye does, but... It's, uh... The fish head, I know what it does, and I don't like it that much. That was a very lucky bomb. And... Pretty good haul afterwards as well, so that definitely makes the shop worthwhile. I was thinking maybe we could find some spirit hearts, books of revelations, who knows, anything to give us a little bit of extra health, because now it's just like survival. If we can survive a little bit longer, we have a good chance. So we'll just hold on to this pill for a second, I don't want to accidentally, you know, hurt myself with explosive diarrhea or something. I can't remember if that counts as a good pill or a bad pill. Because explosive diarrhea isn't technically a bad pill, I mean, it's only bad if you don't expect it. I mean, explosive diarrhea in real life is usually bad unless you're entering some sort of hilarious contest. So we're rolling in bombs, doing very well on keys, well on money, and certainly can't complain about the items that I've gotten so far. Thank God I got a, a health upgrade from that first boss so I could actually afford to pick up Brimstone. And now we will make our way down to the shop. We might get something, we might get nothing, who knows. Should also remember to use my uh, active effect on the pony. But Brimstone Pony after the first floor is a pretty nice combination, even if I don't have very much health to go on after that, so we'll just skip that. Let's take our pill. It was telepills. It moved us further away from where we wanted to go. I was hoping for a health upgrade, of course. Alas, you can't always get what you want. And I will be hoping that we go to the caves as opposed to the catacombs, because as far as I know, caves means less of those green dudes who shoot bombs that could end my run instantly and ruin what has been a beautiful Sunday morning so far, but we'll see. It's not like this would be my first time going down to the third floor with one heart. I mean, I've had runs like this with Judas that have lasted for a long time. Feels bad to leave Shears back there, but oh well. Shit like that happens from time to time. Traded a key for two bombs and a key. Certainly a fair trade. Rolling in cash. We are on the caves, so I don't have to sweat that so much. Pretty much just tearing ass through rooms here. I mean, if I got Brimstone this early, I suppose there's a chance that I could have done a speed run or something, but why bother risking it? Just trying to have a leisurely Isaac play right now. Morning coffee. Eggs over easy. Bread with homemade toast and a little bit of Binding of Isaac. What better way to spend a Sunday morning where you woke up at like 10.30? To some of you that might seem early, to some of you that's going to seem unreasonably late. I don't know. I like it. It feels good. I feel refreshed. I don't want any of these except I'll probably buy the pill. It's a risk because it might be garbage, but it might be amazing. Speed up. That is, I would say it's somewhere on the borderline between garbage and amazing. It's not, it's, you know, six of one, half a dozen of the other, I guess. We're gonna skip that, because I don't feel like killing myself right now. Again, getting a ton of cash here. And a ton of, um, I guess we're spending keys, but we're getting a decent amount of keys anyway. Spiders, really? Is that necessary right now? Just one health uphill, please. Okay, just turn me retarded. $3 bill gives us random tier effects. I'm not sure how this is going to work in conjunction with Brimstone, but I don't see how it could hurt, really. We could go into that spike room, but it's, you know, playing with fire, because we could just be killed instead. Let's look around for secret rooms here. Another three cents. I'd say that's worth it, considering I'm getting bombs like crazy. And I guess we'll just hope for a health upgrade from the boss, because if we don't get one, we're going to find ourselves in a tricky situation. Hopefully it's an easy boss. Caves part one, it should be. Gertie, eh, you know, not so bad. And we're just gonna do our, our standard dodging here. I'm just trying to be a little bit cautious. I'm not doing very much damage to Gertie on each particular shot here. But I definitely do not want to get hit once and, like, put myself in a position where bad things can happen. Drop some bombs against Gertie just to speed things up a little bit. Of course, as you know, my principal philosophy in Isaac is, you know, get more damage. Not because it makes it easier to kill things. Well, I guess, yes, because it makes it easier to kill things. But also because it makes it harder to get hit yourself. Because you're taking other enemies out so quickly. My philosophy, anyway. So far, this has been pretty much perfect Gertie fight, I would say. Haven't made too many mistakes. Which is really not the definition of perfect in any stretch of the imagination. However, it's all good. We've got this passive. That's what I like about the bomb bag, is that it's passive. So it's not like you're going to abandon it at any point. 
So you can feel, always feel good about spending bombs, knowing that you're going to get some in a little while anyway. We did get an HP upgrade. That was borderline necessary if we're going to progress past the next few floors. Wouldn't, uh, wouldn't sneeze at a damage upgrade either, because as you saw against Gertie there, uh, not particularly strong. Although, against, like, normal enemies, it doesn't really matter, because I can just, well, especially, like, bomb flies, I can just blow them up in one hit, making my life much easier. But against bosses, you know, it's always nice with Brimstone, you get a little extra touch. We did get a health upgrade by way of that pill that we picked up on the very start of this floor as well, so we'll be looking to fill that up. And we are now above the starting health that we started with as Kane. Back to the point where we were at when we uh, decided to go with Brimstone, which is good. Uh, you might have also seen that there was a freezing effect there on our shot, so I guess $3 build does work in conjunction with Brimstone. It's just that sometimes it's difficult to tell, which is understandable, but you know, the freezing effect is nice. There's other things that will not work, I guess, in conjunction with Brimstone. Other effects, like, I don't think uh, the tooth effect will work. What's that called? Like, brass knuckles or... I, I can't remember. Uh, the one that gives you the tooth that you shoot at. I doubt that works in conjunction with Brimstone. I'm pretty positive that my reflection doesn't work with Brimstone, the one that causes our shots to, like, arc back towards us. Sacrificial knife. I don't consider this a very good item. But it's okay. Basically, we'll just treat it as, like, a halo of flies, I guess. And I would love to go to the boss room, but... I don't think there's any way... Unless, maybe... There's a secret room here, we're probably not going to be able to go to it. Alright, that's pretty much what I expected. Remember the old days where you could just fly into rooms? That was fun. I enjoyed that. We've already been there. Have we explored everything? I don't think so. There's gotta be, like, up here we haven't been. Okay, correct. So we're gonna take out silkworms first. Dodge as many of these things as we can. Brimstone flying, such an excellent combination. Like, old as sin when it comes to this game. I think Brimstone was added in the Halloween update. So it's been like nearly a year now of just beautiful Brimstone play. Two of Clubs doubles our bombs, which is crazy in conjunction with the um, bomb bag, of course. We're just gonna get crazy money here as well. There was a, a burnt penny back there, which gives us more bomb drops. I'm not sure what Kane's Eye does, but considering I'm already rolling in bombs, I don't think it's net that necessary. We get Tammy's head. From the golden chest. I don't really like it. I mean, actually, I, I do like Tammy's head, but the pony is much more useful to us right now. If I at some point had picked up a passive flying item, I would absolutely uh, give it up, or give up the pony for pretty much any other spacebar item, because as you can see, I very rarely use the active effect. Uh, but since I don't have a passive flying item just yet, then there's not a whole lot we can do about that, except. You know, right now, let's go and fight the boss. I really don't think I need more bombs. Like, this is getting goddamn ridiculous. Might as well shoot this poop, though. Charging Brimstone pretty fast. I haven't even, like, spent... I have 47 cents. I've been getting a ton of money. Haven't even had a chance to spend it, really, yet. This is good. I like this fight. When you have Brimstone and flying and also the ability to basically... Let's just double our bombs right away. Why not? The ability to basically create as many bombs as you want. Hey, a spear in our drop. Nothing to sneeze at. Only our second of the game so far, which is, is rare. Usually, we get more than that. Tears upgrade is cool, too. Do we have the... I think we have the power to beat the boss? Or, like, to beat the game? Yeah, we'll take the coin first. We are Kane. Uh, one of those is a health upgrade. So we'll definitely take that. And why not, just for peace of mind, buy that pill as well. And let's hope... Tears up. Let's hope the blue one is good. Because we're going to get two of it. Balls of steel, that's good enough for me. And we'll also buy this pill right here. Telepills. Eh, I don't like it so much. We will wait to use telepills until after we... Uh, after we kill the boss and go to the item room. Because I don't want to accidentally go to the I am error room and then find myself missing out on all the treasure from the floor. Like, that would be pretty shitty, but... It's amazing how many little Isaac things you pick up as you go along. Like, all this stuff seems like common knowledge to me, but this is all stuff that I've been yelled at for not doing in the comments, basically, over the last 260 videos or so. So it all just comes together. Like, use, use telepills as late as possible. Teleport is a different story, because you kind of want to use teleport as much as possible. I feel, anyway, that's the first time I've taken damage in a long time. Uh, I feel, anyway, in order to, uh, you know, give yourself a greater chance at the I am error room. I mean, that's probably the whole reason you're holding that item anyway. Unless you are just trying, like, you don't have any other options, I guess. So we're on Depths 1. Uh, I feel like this is going to be a pretty easy floor. 
Depends what kind of enemy we come across. We could fight Conquest, which might be a little bit annoying. He's been kind of a dick to us lately. Didn't invite us to his birthday party. It was pretty sad. More keys. Why am I getting so many key drops? I mean, I'm not complaining. But, I mean, the bomb drops are expected. Given, um... Given my, uh... Bomb bag. However, the key drops are just a nice touch. Let's fight our boss. We're already here. Who we got? Monstro 2. Oh, easiest in the whole world. We'll just repeat this 40 or 50 times. Let's, let's put a bomb down here. Didn't, yeah, that, that didn't work out so well, actually, for me. It caused me to fuck up my own rhythm. As anyone will tell you, the rhythm is the most important part of a butt-fucking like this. Just keeping it up here. Monstro, man, you gotta get some, like, peripheral vision, or I guess, like, executive control in your brain, because this is a very easy strategy that is just being abused against you. I feel like I'm playing against myself in Street Fighter 4 Online, where I just keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Health upgrade is nice. What could Satan possibly give us? You know what? Why not? Extra damage is something that I've complained about not having. So we'll go with that. I mean, it doesn't... We were already taking out the enemies incredibly easily. I got hit by a fly there. Just so we're all on the same page. And I can now get over it. Um, the extra damage doesn't hurt, of course. Extra damage stacked with Brimstone is always a nice touch. Makes things easier. As you can see, like, even against Monstro 2, I was not doing that well. The only thing is, it, it sucks kind of, like, giving up two hearts for that. Although I think it did give us two spirit hearts as well. I almost got hit by a fly again. Like, this should not be this difficult with Brimstone. Doubles our money. Why not use it right away? We'll save our telepills. I mean, we're, we're never going to use all 54 cents anyway. There's absolutely no, no chance of that. Given the fact that our next shop likely is going to contain Super Greed. Which would make this, like, the worst run of shops I think I've ever had in my entire life. Now I think we can almost use telepills. If nothing else, hopefully it'll take us closer to the boss, but if it gives us an I am error room, that is cool too. Provided it doesn't drop the tick, because that would be terrible. Can't remember if I have had that happen before, and that's why that experience or that possibility sticks out in my head, or if I just have nightmares about it every single night. Ah, oh, I left the bomb back there, and a tinted rock. Two golden chests, okay. Alright, that sucked. Wasted two keys to get a bomb, oh my god. Wasted three keys to get three bombs. That was not a good deal. Well, we did get to this room. The second secret room from Telepills, which will allow us to basically just take an HP upgrade down to the next floor. That's pretty awesome, actually. I'm not going to complain about that. Basically means that, you know, effectively, the pact was only half price. Which is a pretty solid deal as we move forwards onto Depths 2. I'm glad it wasn't Necropolis. As many people have pointed out, Necropolis possibly... Uh, the... Maybe even harder than the womb. It's hard to say. Yeah, why not? We got enough keys to make this probably worthwhile, even though it didn't give us any keys. Maybe I should stop doing that, because we're at the point where we would want to save some keys to go to the chest. I mean, the chest is a long way away, but still. I don't really want to mess with that if I don't have to. Would have loved to get Spelunker's Helmet or something here, because I have so many bombs. To not look for the secret room seems like a waste. However, oftentimes, I just forget. Like, I'm not doing it maliciously. And obviously I'm... Oh, that was stupid. I'm going to... Oh, there we go. There's our secret room. And it contains a lot of money that we will promptly lose to Super Greed in the shop, probably. What I wanted to do, though, is uh, figure out where these hearts were back here. So we've got at least three plays. Let's play this three times. Don't want money. Really, uh, don't really want the IV bag either, man. The IV bag is one of my least favorite additions to this game now, because I'm like, oh man, if it was just the blood bag, it used to be like, if you just played the, slob or the blood bank long enough, the blood bag would eventually just pop out. Like, it was basically just a matter of determination and how many hearts you could possibly afford to risk. Uh, but now it's like, okay, you could risk all these hearts, and then you just get another blood bank out of it. I mean, a permanent blood bank, but it, that blood bank doesn't have the opportunity to drop the blood bag either, so... That was a terrible dodge, I'm not even sure what I was thinking there. But either way, I think it's a, not a great item, although I've used it fairly well in the past. So, we are fighting Super Greed, as I said. This will all, you know, pay for itself if we can possibly get money equals power as an item. But that is probably unlikely, because we're taking too much damage on this floor to likely get a deal with the devil. 
One more hit on Super Greed will do it. And we get a key out of it. So all is not lost. Really bad luck with the shop so far. I guess the mom's coin purse was good. Picked up a lot as a result of that. Seriously crazy key drops. Maybe I'm, I picked up some kind of passive that increases my key drops, but I don't think so. Very easy. Pill is like the worst pill we could possibly have with pain right now. Considering all the other pills we have identified, like Health Up, Balls of Steel, we still end up getting the pill that just makes us 100% retarded, but hey, that's the game in a nutshell, isn't it? Maybe, I'm trying to think, maybe we'll just go fight Satan this time, I mean, it's been a while, I like that Satan boss fight, I haven't been down a shoal in a long time, but it kind of feels like a cop-out, because you're missing out on, on the hardest floor, oh my god, I can't believe, uh, most of the damage I've taken on the past three floors has been from flies. Which is, I'm not going to say, like, unacceptable, but certainly unusual at this point in the game. I do have another blood bank. I don't really want to waste my time playing it, to be honest with you. And I don't have to, because it's not like I'm, I have to beat the game with Kane again. There's no pressure. I'm just, just derping around in Isaac again, as usual. By the way, I do have the Devil card now. I'll definitely save that for the boss. Balls of Steel, along with another Spirit Heart. I left the Devil card back there. That's alright, we'll pick it up in a second. Okay, more bombs. We might be able to get up to, get up to 99 bombs if we came across another two of clubs card or something. It's chocolate milk. Chocolate milk brimstone is awful, if I remember correctly, so we'll just leave that there. It's a shame that that's the tier effect we get. But there's so many other great options uh, that pair well with brimstone. Like, brimstone polyphemus is something that I've always wanted. You see those posts on, you know, the Binding of Isaac subreddit that are like, Check out how big my laser is! Sorry, that was gone wild. I got confused there. Um, no, they're like, check out how big my laser is, and it's always, um, always, like, Brimstone Technology 2 Polyphemus, some combination of those. And maybe Sacred Tears as well, if they're just talking about how big their tears are. So we're fighting Mom here. This is the, the fast version. If it ever puts its foot down. There we go, let's pop the Devil card. Seriously, it looks like it's, it's been buffed a little bit. It's shooting, like, constantly at us, as opposed to normally, where it shoots very rarely. We're just going to save Brimstone for once every two feet. Or once every time where we have enough time to charge it up to get a full blast on the foot, if that makes any sense at all. Like, that was that wouldn't have been a full blast. This will be a full blast. This will be a full blast. You, you know, Brimstone has, like, stages that it hits in. You want to make sure you're maximizing the number of stages that you hit with. You don't want to just hit them with one half of Brimstone's total damage. I am taking a lot of damage in this fight, actually, which is embarrassing. Considering how many times we've done this. One more will do this. And we'll get Polaroid, we'll get a health upgrade, which is always nice. And we'll move down to the next floor. We're feeling pretty confident about the, the way things are going so far. Wound part one. We haven't run into too many, like, asshole uh, uh, alternate floors. Like, no catacombs, if I remember correctly. No necropolis. And now no utero. Which is nice. It feels good to be back in the game's good books. I guess it just decided, you know, hey, if you can't beat him, join him. I mean, the game has beaten me probably like 65% of the time that I've played it. Maybe even more, but... Allow me to have this one victory, please. God, those things take a lot of hits. So we could go. Mob Trap Room. Don't really... If it was a golden chest, I would, because I really want a passive flying ability so that I can use a regular spacebar item should we come across one. However, that is not the case there. I mean, if, you're, if we're being real sticklers, there could have been a golden chest inside... That was a bomb back there that I missed. There could have been a golden chest inside of the regular chest. That's a long shot. You know how Han Solo says, never tell me the odds? I'm the opposite. Tell me the odds, please. So I can make a reasoned and informed decision. Maybe I'm not roguish, but I am a little bit more tempered in my expectations that way. Uh, it's Eve's bird foot. We can't take that. Get this guy to come out here and there. Okay. More bombs. Man, if I had a nickel for every bomb I had right now, I would have like 210 cents. How was that math? I was looking at, at my bomb total out of my peripheral vision. Probably, you know, as a 23-year-old university-educated man, should not be impressed with the fact that I can do 42 times 5 in my head. Assuming that I got that right. But hey, the pressure's on, right? Doing it in public. In pubic. Alright, so we got Champion Death here. 
he's getting close to death. He's also super annoying with these vaginal bomb flies that he spawns. But I guess that's less annoying than zombies in a way. Oh, I guess he just spawns whatever enemies he chooses. Uh, yeah, like I said, it's a little less annoying than zombies, I think. Because at least if they get away, they don't just bug the shit out of you. So he's dead. And he dropped a spirit heart. And he's dead. Wow. So we get our cube of meat. We picked up a spirit heart as well. And a key. And a penny. And lots and lots of red hearts that we will never need. As long as we continue to play. So we'll go left. Should really take out these lasers. I'm not dodging well. I think Sacrificial Knife might have saved my ass there. I really need more damage. I mean, I got the Pact, but the Pact is not a substantial damage up. Could use something on top of that. Maybe like a Pentagram or something. Like, I, I like Brimstone to just melt every enemy. And this time, I'm having to take like two cracks at each enemy. I think that's a health upgrade, though, which I'm not going to complain about. I'll probably find some way to complain about it, but not just yet. That so hopefully we'll, oh yeah this is good actually judgment could potentially give us something amazing another health upgrade maybe bombs and keys also valuable by uh, keys more so thank you than bombs he could give us the ability to fly I think I've gotten that from judgment before who knows though mm, ladder uh, that's pretty much useless <laughs> I guess that's as close to a passive ability to fly without actually giving you a passive ability to fly as the game can get. Which thereby makes it a great opportunity for the troll engine to do a little bit of trolling me. Okay. Sis are the most annoying part here. Oh, I don't, I, if I had just focused on it, I probably could have gotten both of those in one. Okay, now we just got guts. No problem whatsoever. And pink guts might be able. No, I thought it was going to give us more keys. I guess I don't, I'm not even sure why I'm that concerned with the key thing. Eight keys is really good for this point in the game. We're probably at some sort of equilibrium, like we're, we're gonna get as many keys as we lose. And one day I will use the uh, active effect on a pony, I promise you. Maybe it'll be against uh, Blue Baby or Isaac. Because that gives you some measure of invincibility, which is important, of course, as you get to that. Maybe one or three more hits I'm gonna say against Loki. I don't think this one's gonna do it. Yeah. I think this one, yeah, perfect. Finally starting to, perhaps, recognize when these enemies are due for death. Due for death sounds like a great, like, Roger Corman movie or something. And uh, maybe it's not sci-fi enough for Roger Corman. Great Tommy Wiseau horror film. Telepills, uh, we'll save that for the cathedral, I guess. So we're gonna fight Mom's Heart. This is a good way to fight Mom's Heart. 47 bombs and brimstone, which allows you to kill every enemy that you come across very quickly. Should make short work of this. Certainly we've had more overpowered runs than this. But have we ever had a run that was more consistently overpowered? Like, we've been overpowered since, like, the first floor. Maybe the second, or, like, the third floor. Whenever we managed to get, like, a decent amount of health, I'd say. It's where things got good for us. You know what would have been a great item instead of chocolate milk? The Mr. Mega that gave us more powerful bombs. Because, I mean, we we could basically almost treat this as um, an epic fetus run, or a fetus in a jar run. Given that we're getting so many goddamn bombs. I mean, 42 is less than the total number of shots we'll end up firing in this game. Probably. Just put a bomb there just to see if maybe Chubb was coming at me. He wasn't. Almost walked into my own bomb. That would have been a disappointing way to take damage. Just snuck through there, got kind of lucky. Silkworm's freaking me out, man. Don't get any closer. Okay. Maybe three more shots here. Ah, probably like six more shots, actually. On Mom's hearts. Save two more at this point. Ah, never mind. I'm totally off base. We, I didn't even need to sidestep the creep. What was I worried about there? Okay, so we'll telepills and hopefully find the boss right away. Actually, you know what we can do? Walk in, not get hurt. Whoa, immediately teleport to get Lord of the Pit, which allows us to fly without the pony, uh, and then walk in again, and get this one, which gives us the spirit heart, then teleport out. Okay, that was weird, but also awesome. I mean, some people out there are going to be like, why would you waste two hearts getting Lord of the Pit? The reason being, assuming I beat Isaac here, 
Which is a big if. Well, it's sort of big if at this point. Um, that means that I'll probably get a spacebar item in the chest, and I can still have flying at the same time. And since items are probably more valuable to me than health at this point, I think that's a good decision. I could be mistaken. You know, I, I'm, I'm still far from the world authority on the Binding of Isaac. Abel, I wish you did more damage, like 20 or 30 times as much damage as you're doing right now. But this one, yes, Helmet Man, finally, has passed on. He lived a short life, but a, a life full of fire and anger and assholery. Whenever I say assholery, it's like, it makes me think of, cool, another Polaroid drop. It makes me think of cuddlery for your butt, like... Oh, yeah, you've got a nice uh, set of assholery on tonight, dear. I don't know what it would be, like rings or, or jewels or something, or some kind of napkin or doily to make sure you didn't have any spills, but it's just how my brain works. We're going to use the Empress card on Isaac here for sure. And I used the pony there because I was pretty damn sure I was just going to get hit. So I was like, might as well pop that as soon as possible. We might lose this fight against Isaac, but if we do, it's been a good run nonetheless. It's one of those few Isaac runs. Well, maybe not few, but one of those Isaac runs that actually requires me to have some skill. Isaac fights, not Isaac runs, I should say. Because uh, I actually have to dodge these shots. I can't rely on Cube of Meat and Sacrificial Knife to do it for me. Uh, and I can't just tank all the damage. Because that would put me in a very bad position for the chest. But I, we're, we're probably going to succeed here. There's not a whole lot that could stop us at this point. Isaac is dead. The angel fetuses will now die as well. And we'll head to the chest with enough keys. And finally, the opportunity to lose our spacebar item for Anarchist Cookbook. Oh, quad shot. That's good and awful. <laughs> there we go. This That's better. Uh, so I took quad shot. Quad shot makes it so Brimstone takes four times as long to charge, but also does four times as much damage. So what we're going to do, we're going to toss down my best friend down there. All those enemies are going to go for it, and then it is going to explode and kill them. And it recharges every three rooms, which is decent. We've reached a dead end here, which I was hoping not to. I'm just focusing intently on taking these assholes out. Feels like I have more damage now, or maybe those guys are just weak to begin with. But um, yeah, my best friend is, is one of those items. It may actually come in handy for us, not so much on the boss, but I mean, we've already lost, um, or we, we have no need for the pony active effect anyway. So we might as well use my best friend. Basically use it as a super-powered bomb that also attracts attention. I mean, that's what we're going to use it as, because that's pretty much its exact description as an item. Maybe one or two more here. Super Wrath doesn't really bother me. Mr. Mega, hey, that's exactly what we asked for. Might be able to make that work against the boss. We're going to definitely put my best friend down on the ground here. They're going to jump for it. And one of them's going to die. I took a little damage here. I think this is one of the few runs in the chest where I think I have a chance, despite having never gotten a, a, an item that gives me extra spirit hearts. That would be a landmark achievement for me. So we got two Gertie Juniors here. That sucks. Just drop some Mr. Megas. Oh, taking a lot of damage here. Shouldn't have talked about my chances of victory. Please, just die. You're so close. Okay. Red hearts that I don't need at all. Oh, okay, we're on the boss, but I kind of want to charge up my best friend item once first. This could be what kills me. Yeah, I took damage leaving the room, but we have extra hearts anyway. These things are fast, man. Okay. All right, and that is telepills, which we don't want, actually. And just, just take your time here. Okay, so we're back to full health. We did get the My Best Friend charge. Can we defeat Blue Baby? I'd consider it unlikely, but perhaps possible. Didn't really do that much damage and I'm already at half health. I could teleport out and try to give this a chance, but... It almost seems unsportsmanlike when you know you're about to be bested. Just leave and then try to come back later. You're just wasting everybody's time, you know? But maybe I can dodge all these shots and, and make this a possibility. Oh, that was not a good one. There we go. Well, it was fun while it lasted. That was a good run. Uh, as always, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.